TC Graphics. Exploring Creativity Daily. Welcome to today's tutorial. Please do well to click the subscription button and like this video. May God bless you as you do so. Tutorial. This is still TC Graphic. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I designed this trending um flyer you must have seen this effect um i saw some person asking how can i do this with pixel lab and that's why i decided to show you this okay so you can do a lot with your pixel lab so without wasting much of our time let's get to it all right so if this is the first time you have coming across my channel please kindly go ahead and hit subscription button now because you'll be getting amazing tutorials and if you like this video definitely not like it just click like button all right let's get into it so i will hide uh, rather hide it so um first thing i'm going to do is to uh create a shape that first shape i'm going to use that's the first thing i'm going to do so just create this circle shape okay I'll create it like this okay now i want to tell us this um this particular design is very very technical if you skip one part it's going to take you back you better follow it step by step so that you don't miss it it's not the regular one you know okay so change the color to black all right use your letting position and lock this okay so i can make a copy of this reduce the size change the color of that one now to white okay 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 relative position good so you can lock it as well place this use this okay that's your grid line okay so after put it like this okay so after highlighting your grid line, come here and pick this. Okay. Okay, it's now touch this. Okay. Make sure I touch that magnet icon. Now click here. Alright, let's make a copy of it. Bring it here. Alright. Make a copy of that. You see what I'm doing? I, I told you this is not a regular thing, you know. If you skip any part of this video only make you to waste much of your time all right so this is what you're gonna have now after this lock up this and then pick another shape make this one big to cover the entire canvas okay um take it to the back click to back and use the position and center it now come here and mark everything you have excluding this one i the other flyer i just mark everything and merge it of course you know how to merge by now okay i'll hide this now go to your erase color so see what you have okay so now click on this that's your picker tool select the black okay so you now have something like this you can increase the all right so this is what we have okay so i another thing that i came to stroke and uh, i use this color see the color code the color code is 9b0254 Okay, so you can okay i did it like this okay all right let's position so lock it so when you reach here the next thing you're going to do is to start bringing the pictures you want the pictures you want to be inside this okay like i told us this is very, very technical so i will go ahead and start bringing in my picture okay okay this is the first picture I'll bring this one in i will enlarge it like this and take it to back Okay, so this is what I have. I'll just set it, okay, to be like this. All right, perfect. So that's what I have, okay? All right, so I'll go ahead and bring in another picture. Second one I have. Second one. Okay, uh, let me show. This is the second one. I'll click this, okay, and it will be like this. Take it to back. But then I want it to be on top of this one. So I have something like this. Okay. Alright. It. Lock it. Okay. So I'll go ahead and bring the third picture. Okay. See it. I have this one. Take it here. And take it to back. Now it's gonna be on top of everything I have here. Alright, adjust it perfectly.
so we'll have it like this okay perfect i hope you're loving what we are saying i hope you're loving what you are saying right now please go ahead and click that like button so we have a lot to do okay so when you reach to this point you can see what we have so far okay you go ahead and merge merge them merge it with this okay that's how to merge all right so allow it to come up okay so we have successfully merged so when you reach here go ahead and save it click on save author save as author select png and save to your gallery now after saving the next thing you're going to do is to head over to your what your uh, photo room or any other um sites or app you are using to carry out your background remover or whatever now, all my data and um i'll come here i want to work on this thing now i want to remove the background we'll wait for it to come okay good great i'll click on this and i'll go ahead and save it so the background has gone perfect you see what i did so i'll come over to my pixel lab okay so when i come here i'll take it to default i don't need any of this again okay so you can see where we are now all right so next thing i want this to bring in your background okay background image and look at it so see what i have okay before then click on this come here and make the color of that canvas to be black correct so when i come here i'll touch here and increase the size the highest and just center position and lock it up so now go to your what go to your color filter take this here to let's take it down negative 70 something this is 72 saturation okay i'm gonna make it 70 that's a negative 74 Okay, we're gonna reduce the brightness. Okay, come to brightness and reduce it to maybe like minus nine. Okay, contrast like this. Okay, so we are trying to. Okay. Now come to opacity and. before then let's work on this color filter again yeah saturation should come up a little bit okay like this okay so opacity can just take opacity like this perfect so we now want to bring in what we remove the background that you see it i'll come to my photo room see it this is what i worked on and i'll bring it over here so once i bring it in what am i going to do i'll go to my stroke and i'll apply another stroke make it four in this case it's going to be white color okay so see what i have so you can increase the size to whatever suits you okay perfect so um come here and use if you are getting value don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you so much so um you love this okay so i want to bring another image i have the last one you can see it's over here i'll bring it here like this and center it like this okay center it like this okay this is perfect so I'll, I'll come to my color filter and i'll try to reduce the saturation a little bit and come here and increase the contrast okay just to work on this picture okay, it's fine look, already i just want to play around it so just position it like this okay nice one so um you come and pick this your text tool and um come to gradient and uh, scroll just use any of this black thing any of that i'm using this one now click on this plus icon click here and bring this like this and bring this one like this okay so that i'll have this kind of so bring this one to here just rotate it like this and this one should be like this. select this panel the second one so i'll have a feel like this so increase it increase it like this okay so check it then now go to color okay it will now have something like this okay so take it down take it down take it down take it down so that you have it looking like this okay is someone getting value here like the video 
so um i have something like this okay so see what i have you can see how beautiful it is looking all right so let's go ahead and pick our text tool and we write so we're almost done we're almost done we don't waste time in this we don't waste time once you know what you're doing you don't need to sleep you know while designing it's just very simple you are done um i think i wrote photo studio i think that was what i wrote right photo studio and i'm going to make use of this font called the name of the font is um android assassin okay i hope you you already know the usage of okay, if you don't know for those of you that are in my class my mentorship class I, you know how this is work usage uh, usage of fonts you don't just select any fonts of your choice there's um principle guiding um choice of fonts okay because i'm working on photography you can see this font is what relates to what we're talking about shadow so if you are watching my youtube channel you have been following me and you long to master graphic design then you need a mentor you need to sign up to my mentorship class okay so i'll select this and uh, come here and uh, reduce this i just applied a shadow here um that font let me check if is the other one it's android assassin well, let me check if uh, yes it's italic let me check it's italic yeah it's italic i used so you can see there's something showing here like that last zero we don't want it so come to padding come to padding and increase it to right okay that's how to work on your font if pixel lab is removing part of your text okay go to padding all right so i'll come here and i'll make a copy of this up and i'll write a date studio studio okay so uh, i have it like this okay so uh i'll lock it then i'll pick my text tool i'll pick my text tool and i'll write something like this all right uh the first thing i wrote was the wedding wedding space space uh, i think fashion can I just put it in the world? it mustn't be the same fashion music studio these are their services music video i think last one was what uh can i still remember um let me check commercial I can put commercial or oh, birthday let's put birthday yes coverage so so um reduce the size in this place the size is going to be small but then the font you are going to use is called montserrat medium take montserrat medium that's the font name okay you can see how simple it is looking so you don't need to complicate this using your design okay okay so let me see if i can reduce the size a little bit okay so i have okay so i can make a copy of this and now write contact 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 and now write write any phone number of your choice mm. that's the phone number of your client the person you're designing for yes you put it there okay so i'm putting my own somewhere here okay so you see <coughs> so you see i have it so it has not finished so we want to bring in our camera okay so i want to bring in our camera wow is somebody getting value here? so we come to this place and uh camera i'll bring it in and i'll come to crop outside this i want it to look like this okay so if you look at this camera it's, it's looking somehow i don't really like it that it is looking like this so i'll go to color filter and i'll go to here okay so i'll go to saturation pull around all these tools go to brightness and take it down a little bit you can see now this is nice so i'll take it so we are done now we are done people is this not looking cool so when you're done with your design what are you going to do so you come to this place and select save as click here first of all choose png come here and select ultra dimension select ultra dimension all right so click save so at this point i hope you got value if you if you actually love this video don't forget to click that like button and if you have not subscribed you can subscribe okay thank you see you some other day bye